Hi guys, Serena here. Thanks for joining me today on my YouTube channel. As you can guess from the box here, I have an unboxing from Jerry's Artorama. I wanted to get some intense pencils uh, because I got some uh, about a year ago. and You may have seen my other video where I tried them outside. Uh, it was in the fall. And I did try the Payne's Gray. I've also got the Burnt Orange. And I really like using them. So I wanted to get some others. But the, the sets are just so cost prohibitive for me now uh, to buy a whole set. So I thought I would buy individual pencils in the colors that I wanted. In other words, it would take me, you know, I'd have to get the 72 set to get all the colors I wanted. So I figured this way, open stock, I can just get some kind of pencil box or bag and put them in. So let's take a look and see what I've got. And we know this is the funnest part of the unboxing, so I'm leaving this noise in. Fair warning. Okay. Now you can uncover your ears. Maybe. All right. I like the way Jerry's packages everything. And everything gets to you in one piece. Okay. Now, a little bit. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Get this out of the way. I'm going to get this out of the way, too. I know I always do this. And you're always disappointed that I do. But one of the things I wanted to show you as well are these bags that Jerry's has. And if you've ever shopped at Jerry's, you know they've got these nice mesh bags. And these things are so handy for uh, pencils. I use these for pencils and for short brushes and erasers and things like that. And then the long ones are for bigger brushes. And I like these. They're they're not expensive. Uh, they were less than four dollars each, so they're really nice for um, if you've got brushes and and stuff and pencils that you want to keep in one place and keep neat without spending a lot a lot of money. So I got two of those long ones, and I got three of these short ones. And you'll see why I got the long ones in a second. Put these over to the side. Now, all right, here's one pencil. Let's see how they wrap these. And here are the other pencils. I, I don't quite know what the logic is there. I've got like 12 pencils here and one there. I don't know. That's what they did. So let me go ahead and open those and we'll take a quick look. All right, so I'm going to see what I got here. get them out. Alright, I have, this is Mallard Green, and you know what I'm going to do while I'm taking these out? I'm just going to take my Canson XL. This is just a Canson XL pad. It's a mixed media, and I like using this for lots of different things, but since I want to use these pencils for mixed media, in my art journaling, I think it would be a good idea to test them on this. So this is Mallard Green. Just going to kind of give it a little like that, and then we'll take the brush, and we'll see what it looks like when it's wet. Oh, look at that color. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, that's Mallard Green. Now I've got so many more to go, so if you want to skip to something else, you can. I probably should have done this at the end, but they came out first, so I'm going to test them first. All right, we already know I've got the other two. I'll test those later. This one's green aquamarine. Let's take a look at that one. Now, some of these look almost the same when they're dry. Uh, they look the same as each other when they're dry, but then when you wet them, look at that color. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now I have sea blue. 
And I've seen some people swatch these on YouTube, uh, but it's kind of hard to see. Oh, look at that beautiful sea blue. Some of them look so similar, it's hard to decide which ones to get. Okay, here's the next one. This one is vivid green. All right, I think the others were quite vivid, but let's see what they do with this one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's like a, uh, oh, what did you call that, a, like a Viridian. Uh, this is spring green. This one I think is more like a May green type, since I like to do a lot of plants, that would be very nice. It is like a May green, that's really nice. And then I do have a thing for browns. Um, I just like them. They come in so many different types of, uh, you know, shades. This is Baked Earth. This one I had a hard time seeing on YouTube, whether it was like a a dark color or more of a yellow and this looks more of a yellow uh, almost like a quinacridone gold but very nice this one is willow so I wanted a darker brown so I could get some tree bark going and that's not quite as dark as I want it but hey it's it's nice it's pretty I can always supplement later here's mauve I always thought of mauve as more like a muddy purple, but when I saw it swatched out, it looked really nice. And it is. Look how pretty that is. That's like your perfect purple, just what I wanted. This one is fuchsia. And I think these were less than $2 each, which, you know, it's a lot of money, but if you go to buy the set. It it can just set you back so much. And there's a lot of colors you might not even want. Uh, this one's cherry. I just want to get started with these a little bit. Now if I really, really like them, I'll, I'll get a set. But I think these will do for my purposes. This was the closest one I could find to a red, the cherry. Uh, a lot of times it's hard for companies to make a real red unless they're using like a cadmium and a lot of companies are trying to get away from the cadmiums just because they are so toxic uh, for everything it, it's not really good this one's tangerine that's a, like a true orange if you're looking at orange this one is golden yellow so let's see what that looks like I want to get all that tangerine out there and make sure I don't contaminated. The golden yellow is very pretty too. Look at that. That's very nice. Now let's take a look at the other two. From before I had, I uh, bought these from Jackson's. This is a burnt orange since I'm in the browns and oranges. Give it a little more there. Okay, let's see what that is. Wow. That's, that is kind of more of a deep, deep orange than brown. And this one is Payne's Gray, a nice neutral color. I used this one already drawing some tulips on my prior video. That's kind of nice. It, it has a little bit of a bluish gray to it. All right, so something happened with my camera and I don't know where I left off. Hopefully I can do this part and you'll get to see all of it again. <laughs> These are the colors that I got. It's a nice mix. I've got a little bit of everything, and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with these. Now, next thing I got was just a sharpener, and I got this because I have two sketchbook setups. I have one for home and one that I take with me, and I only had one sharpener that I kept moving back and forth from one bag to the other, and I kept either having to go out to the car to get my travel kit and bring it in the house and use it, or I had to be out in the field somewhere and I didn't have a sharpener with me. So now I have a sharpener that I can use and put in each of the um, bags. All right, now the other thing I got, I already opened on film when my camera did that funny thing. This is a set of Cezanne 12 pencils. They're just graphite pencils and they go from 2H to H, HB, B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 
10 and 12B I'm really curious about. I've never tried those dark um, grades of graphite. So let's take a look and see how those look. Now this comes in a nice little tin. And let's see if we can get... Of course I can't see. That's 6. Okay, that's going to be the 8, that's going to be the 10, and that's the 12. I'm going to try... Uh, let's take a look at the 2B. Here's the 2B. And what I'll do is let me put these aside. I will use my um, Canson sketch pad for this. And I'll just grab a sheet here that we can play with. Okay, so here's the 2B in the Cezanne set. There's the 2B. Co to compare, I have one of Jerry's uh, Raffine Sketch 7000 series in a 2B. And there's that one. Kind of similar. They feel the same. Um, the Cezanne is a little darker. It's actually a little darker. Of course, it's sharper. <laughs> and the Raffine is a little more like graphite. This is almost, like the color is almost like a charcoal. Let's try the 8B. This is the 8B. Oh, is that smooth? Really smooth. I could see this is great for shading. You don't have to press very hard and it gives you nice, nice shading there. This one is a 10B. Try that. Ah, even darker great for shading. And I'm not pressing very hard, but they're very soft. I can see going through these real quick. This one's a 12B. Wow. That feels like it has even a wider lead, but even darker if you can see that. Uh, so these are going to be nice to play with too, but sparingly because I can see the leads are very soft and they will definitely wear out quickly. All right. Now, I got I have a box here. I didn't buy a whole box, but I got a couple colors that I wanted. I got a quinacridone sienna from Turner. I think they had a Turner sale. And I also got, I think it's a white gouache. No, nope, I got a Payne's Gray. I got a Turner Payne's Gray. Okay, so let's kind of swatch these out. Since I've got some paper here, why not? The whole fun of unboxing is to see a swatch. And it's only going to take two seconds to do this. So this is the Quinacridone Sienna. You got to be careful of these because they tend to tend to come out of the tube if you don't watch. Okay, I'm going to put the lid back on because I don't want it squishing all over. Okay, here's the Quinacridone Sienna. Oh, is that beautiful? And you know, I love the the rusts, the oranges, the browns. That was a little pricey. That was on sale, I believe, at $8.99 a tube. But they're big tubes, and a little goes a long way with watercolor. These are just going to last forever and ever. Okay, here's the Payne's Gray. I'm hoping it's like a Payne's Gray bluish, because I need to replace my Payne's Gray in Schmenka, and it's a little expensive for me. That's a nice one. That's kind of like a Payne's... It's got a little hair in it. That's kind of like a Payne's Gray bluish uh, comparable to Schmenka. So I'll be able to use that color. That's going to be fine for my uses. Alright, next it looks like they sent me a little... Um, no, actually I ordered this. These are uh, from their Buy It and Try It drawing, lettering, and illustration boards. And they've got like four of them in here. Um, it's a trial pack. So I'll have fun playing with that. It's a kind of nice size. You know, not not too big, but enough to see how the product works. All right, that was what I got from Jerry's. Now, I also got uh, from Amazon something I've been thinking about getting into, and that's gouache. Um, Holbein has some of the nicest gouaches, uh, good quality gouache. I don't know why they're all so expensive, but the quality ones are. You can get cheapy ones that are like watercolor. They're just water. There's no point in that. But I want something that is opaque, that's going to cover 
what's underneath. So I decided on the Holbein brand. I would love to get some of the larger sets, you know, the convenience sets with all the colors. I just drool over those, as everybody probably does. But I got a basic starter kit. I'm okay with mixing colors, so I won't have a problem with that. These are nice size tubes, as gouache goes. Uh, they are, let me see, they're 15 milliliter. So that's a nice size for gouache. And it comes with a little color chart here, mixing chart, so you can see, you know, if you need a little help with that or a little guidance, a uh, little chart there is included. So that's nice. Then I also got to use with gouache, since I don't want to use my good watercolor brushes. Um, sometimes the gouache will stick in furls. I got a, just a kind of cheapy set to try it out. These were like eight dollars, nine dollars on Amazon. Um, a lot of different types of brush tips there. Just something so I can use that with the gouache. And that is what my uh, brush bags are for. This is what my brush bags are for that I got earlier. So I can keep those separate and not confuse those with my watercolor brushes. One last thing I do want to show you I got on Amazon is the Fumui, I hope I'm saying that right, set of brushes. Um, I already opened them. Sorry about the noise. But these are just to die for. Look at those brushes. Oh my god. Um, just a really nice presentation. They're in a nice box. This would be really nice as a gift for uh, some artist. If you know an artist that has a birthday coming up or something, uh, this would be really nice. But look at how nicely made that is. Look at that. These, it feels like the lacquer has like three or four coats on it. It doesn't feel cheap. None of the furls are um, loose. They're real tight. It feels like a quality connection there. The I did wash the glue out of these. So it's a nice spring to it. Uh, these are artificial sable. They're not real sable, but um, I was going to use these for gouache, but now that I see them, I think I will only save them for watercolor because these are really more of a fine brush. And I wanted to get some flats. I don't have really any flats. I think I have one flat that came in a set. So these are all flat tips and I think that'll be fun trying that out and experimenting with those. But I wanted to show those to you. Well that's it for my haul for today. I think that was quite enough. It's going to keep me busy for a while and hopefully, I'll, hopefully I can show you some of the things that I make with these products. Alright, well I thank you for joining me today and don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you next time.